So yesterday I resurrected these snippers here. They were a rusty mess. I found them a couple weeks ago, brought them home, and uh, yesterday I ground off all the rust, blah, 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 new handles and everything. Turn it into a useful thing. While I was doing that, I could hear this voice, these many voices in my head, saying, Oh, Jamie, why are you messing with garbage? You're wasting your time. Why don't you just go buy a new one? Well, you don't have enough money. You never make money playing with garbage. Money, 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 money. <sighs> I've heard this a million times. So, here's the thing. We're in a world where everything is degrading over time. And we have a choice as living creatures. This is a very special choice. Not many, not many things have this choice. This cloth here doesn't have this choice. My, my floor doesn't have this choice. I have this choice to be either destructive or creative. I can either help the degradation of everything that's already going on, or I can go against that and be creative and create new things of value that add value to the world or take something that is degraded to the point where it's completely lost its value and I can rip it out of the hole where it's in, grind the rust off, put a bunch of work into it, and, and resurrect it to the point where it has value again. It's actually, it's actually in better shape than it was when it was brand new. Much better handles. Um, so, taking something that is dead and giving it back life. And not, I'm speaking metaphorically here, but also it could be literal. I don't know, that might get a little creepy. My pet cemetery. Anyway, resurrecting an object that has basically died and giving it life back is much more valuable than making money. In fact, the way our economy runs, usually making money means accelerating the destruction of things. Because if you have a factory here, they make a product, they sell it to someone, that person has that product until it breaks and goes in the garbage, and then they buy a new one. And the faster it goes into the garbage, the sooner they buy a new one. So the factory is massively incentivized to make junk that's going to get into the garbage as fast as possible. The faster they can get that cycle going, the, the, the more often this person buys stuff, the more stuff they sell, the more money they make. This is the basic principle of how our economy works. And it's a disgrace that our financial economy runs on destruction. Like the, the, the more garbage is being made, the more money people are making. It's, it's, it's a horrible way to, to, run, to run a system. And I'm not going to get into why that is that way and blah, 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 blah. But if you're always thinking about money, you're always buying into that ideology. And... It's a, it's a sad way to think, and it's a sad way to be, and it's a, sad, it's a sad way to do things. So I personally choose to be creative. I would much rather take something that's garbage, give it new life, and just spend as much time as I can adding value to the world around me. And that means creating new things, or that may mean taking things that have lost their value and giving them value back, either repairing them or using them as parts to repair something else or whatever. So that's why it's valuable to deal with garbage.